Do you want a distinctive sound for your chord progressions? Look no further than the Phrygian dominant scale. The Phrygian dominant is known by many different names. This includes Phrygian major, Spanish Phrygian, altered Phrygian scale, Persian scale, harmonic dominant, and the Andalusian scale. As the name suggests, it is closely related to the Phrygian scale or mode. I'll show you how now, but if you want a deep dive into the Phrygian mode, then check out my video in the description. Let's start with the major scale. The major scale is useful as a point of reference for all other scales or modes. The major scale, also known as the Ionian mode, has seven notes. If we label each note with a number, you get the scale degrees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It doesn't matter what the tonic or starting note of our major scale is, it always has the scale degrees 1 to 7. For example, the E major scale has the notes E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp and D sharp, with the seven scale degrees we mentioned. The natural minor or Aeolian mode has the scale degrees 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6 and flat 7. The flat scale degrees are half a step or a semitone below the major scale degrees. So the E natural minor scale has the notes E, F sharp, G, A, B, C and D. The Phrygian mode has the scale degrees 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6 and flat 7. E Phrygian therefore has the notes E, F, G, A, B, C and D. The only difference between the natural minor scale and the Phrygian mode is the flat second note. And the only difference between the Phrygian mode and the Phrygian dominant is the major or natural third note. It therefore has the scale degrees 1, flat 2, 3, 4, 5, flat 6 and flat 7. This means that the E Phrygian dominant has the notes E, F, G sharp, A, B, C and D. The Phrygian dominant scale occurs in Indian, Middle Eastern, Eastern European, Central Asian and Flamenco music. It is also common in heavy metal and neoclassical music. It has an instantly recognisable sound, arguably more so than any other mode or scale. The flatted second and the augmented step between the second and third degrees of the scale create this distinctive sound. You may have heard of the Phrygian dominant scale as the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale. I won't go in depth about modes here, but it is worth briefly exploring this idea. Harmonic minor has the scale degrees 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6 and 7. The A harmonic minor scale therefore has the notes A, B, C, D, E, F and G sharp. These are all the same notes as the E Phrygian dominant I showed you earlier. And if you start on the fifth note and count along, they are in the same order. Hence why Phrygian dominant is called the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale. You can use the notes from a scale or mode to create a series of chords. These chords are what make up a key in songwriting. The most basic chords are constructed with three notes and are called triads. They will be either major, minor, diminished or augmented. Let's use the E Phrygian dominant mode you saw earlier to construct the chords. To create your first chord, you take the first note, which is E here, and then skip a note, which takes you to G sharp, and then skip a note from G sharp, which gets you to B. These three notes will create a triad. In this case, E, G sharp and B create E major. This is your one chord. Then you move on to the next note and start again. In E Phrygian dominant, the next note is F. If you skip a note from F, you have A, skip a note from A and you get to C. F, A and C create an F major chord. This becomes your two chord. You then repeat the process for the remaining notes of the Phrygian dominant mode to generate a set of seven chords. Note how I have repeated the notes twice here to make constructing the chords easier to visualize. This gives you the following chords. One, E major, two, F major, 3 G sharp diminished, 4 A minor, 5 B diminished, 6 C augmented and 7 D minor. For those of you who may be wondering, this is the same set of chords as in A harmonic minor, as you can see on the screen now. I'll now show you some common chord progressions in Hookpad that use this pool of chords. There's a link in the description if you want to get Hookpad and follow along. 
I'll begin with the simplest possible progression, a continuous vamp from the 1 chord to the 2 chord. This is all it takes to define the Phrygian dominant sound. You can hear the inherent tension and exotic nature of this progression. You can ramp this up even more without moving away from these two chords. A unique feature of the Phrygian dominant is that you can play the one chord as a dominant seventh chord. This is why it's called Phrygian dominant. If you use the dominant seventh for the one chord, it provides another layer of interest. I'll use it in this next progression as well as the major seventh on the two chord. If you want to learn more about seventh chords, then check out the playlist in the description below. The 1 and 2 chords are foundational to a lot of Phrygian dominant chord progressions. If you pair them with one of the other chords from the modes, then you can't really go wrong. Let's start with the two minor chords, 4 and 7. Next up I'll introduce the 3 diminished chord. Listen to the extra discordant edge that this chord brings to the progression. It is quite common to blend Phrygian dominant with standard Phrygian mode. It can be easy to overdo it with the evocative sound of Phrygian dominant, so this is one way to temper its use. It can also be used to avoid some of the tenser and more dissonant chords that are available. One common candidate for this is the 3 diminished chord. If you take its root note, drop it by a half step or semitone, and then build a major chord triad from this new root, then you create a flat 3 chord. You can also think of this as a borrowed chord from the parallel Phrygian key. Here is the chord in action with the 1 to 2 chord scaffolding. Listen to how the flat 3 chord sounds compared to the diminished 3 chord. I told you at the beginning of the video that the Phrygian dominant was also known as the Andalusian scale, and this flat 3 chord features in what is known as the Andalusian cadence. The name comes from the area of Spain where flamenco music originates from, and as you may have guessed, this progression features heavily in flamenco music. This progression can be thought of as being in harmonic minor, in which it starts with a 1 chord, but here it is in E Phrygian dominant ending on the 1 chord. So far I've only used standard triads, except for the dominant and major 7th chords, but you can of course use any chord types that you like. Phrygian dominant is particularly useful for introducing interesting chords. I showed you that the 1 chord can be played as a dominant 7th, 
you can also utilize the 7sus4 chord here. If you want to learn more about 7sus4, then check out my video in the description. This actually removes the third note I've highlighted from the chord, which gives it a different flavor. You can use it wherever you have been using the one chord already. Here it is in a familiar progression. The four chord has plenty of different chord options available to you. It can be played as a sus2, sus4, or the tense minor major seventh chord. Help with all of these is linked below. Feel free to experiment with this like the one chord, altering existing progressions that have the four chord in them. Here's a progression with these different four chords within it. And looking at the 7 chord, it can be played as a sus2 or 7 sus2 chord. Here's an example of how that sounds. These chord progressions are great in isolation, but how would they work in a full song? In this next example, I'll use a lot of the ideas you've seen to create a song. It will have the basic structure of intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. See if you can spot the progressions from the lesson and how they fit into the song. It will also introduce the five and six chords, which we didn't really cover in the video, and add some chord inversions for interest. Don't worry about these too much, just listen to the sound they create and have a go at experimenting with them in your own songs. Experiment with the concepts in this video to create your own Phrygian dominant song ideas and let me know in the comments how they turn out. The harmonic minor scale is fundamental to understanding the Phrygian dominant mode. Watch the video on screen now to learn more about this interesting scale. 